you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Cause them to lie down, saith the Lord. Uh huh. I will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away. I will bind up that which was broken and strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. And as for you, O my flock, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will judge between cattle and cattle and between rams and the he goats. Next verse. He said, Seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures. He says, And to have drunk of the deep waters, but ye must ye must foul the residue with your feet. Next verse. He says, As for my flock, hallelujah, that which ye have trodden with your feet, and they drink that which ye have fouled with your feet. Look at, look at what he's saying. Therefore thus saith, that's verse, go to verse 20. Therefore thus saith the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and the lean cattle. Therefore, because ye have trust with side and with shoulder, and push all the diseased with your horns till ye have scattered them abroad he's describing for you the state of the sheep that has made him to say shepherd or no shepherd i am coming to make sure i rescue my sheep be patient we're almost there therefore i will save my flock and they shall no more be a prey i will judge between cattle and cattle 23 and i will set up one shepherd over them and he shall feed them even my servant David he shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd 24 and I the Lord will be their God and my servant David a prince among them I the Lord have spoken we're reading to 30 I think 30 or 31 is the last verse and I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause the evil beast to cease out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods 26 and i will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing and i will cause the shower to come down in a season and there shall be showers of blessings next verse and the tree of the field shall yield her fruit and the earth shall yield her increase and they shall be safe in their land and ye shall know that i am the lord when i have broken the bands of their yoke and delivered them out of the hands of those that serve themselves of them 28 and they shall no more be a prey to the heathen neither shall the beasts of the land devour them but they shall dwell safely and none shall make them afraid 29 and I will raise up for them a plant of renown and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land neither bear the shame of the hidden anymore verse 30 listen to this read verse 30 together are you ready one to go thus shall they be known that I the Lord their God am with them and that they even the house of Israel are my people saith the Lord that by doing all of these things I will prove to you that you are my people I will prove to you that I have brought you into a state of rest defeating your enemies making the rain to come and so on and so forth very 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 powerful scripture the last verse and then we are done 31 it says and ye my flock and the flock of my pastures amen so he's not talking about animals in the wilderness he's saying all this flock have been talking about you are men and i am your god saith the lord god 
tonight everything that must happen according to this scripture to give you rest you will find it in the name of jesus now please listen very carefully i wrote here why do we keep releasing our faith to contend for all round rest why do we keep organizing miracle services after miracle services three scriptures number one micah 2 10. micah chapter 2 and verse 10. arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted and shall destroy you even with a sore destruction the first reason why we keep contending is because where we are is not yet our rest he said arise ye and depart for where you are financially spiritually is not your rest that means we will keep organizing as many miracle services as many mini, as many ministrations as many teaching sessions until you get to your rest he said arise ye and depart for this is not your rest hebrews chapter 4 from verse 9 hebrews 4 and 9 4 and 9 therefore he says there remained therefore a rest to the people of god verse 10 for he that is entered into his rest he hath also ceased from his own works as god did from his the charge is in verse 11 he says let us labor therefore let us what not let us assume not let us fold our hands and wait for rest to come and meet us let us labor therefore to enter into that rest let us labor therefore to enter into that rest lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief let us labor therefore and the bible gives us the various ways that the believer labors it says honor the elders who labor in word and in doctrine so we labor in word the ministry of the word remember Acts chapter 2 from verse 42 the bible says and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and in fellowship number two and in breaking of bread number three and in prayers this is how we labor and then Acts chapter 6 and verse 4 it says but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word this is how we labor to enter our rest in isaiah chapter 62 isaiah chapter 62 from verse 6 to 10 62 from verse 6 or we'll just do 6 to 8 he says i have set watchmen upon thy walls o jerusalem which shall never hold their peace day nor night ye that make mention of the lord keep not silence he says seven and give him no rest till he establish and 18 when you read from verse 2 jesus himself is giving a parable and he spoke about this woman who had no physical support system that in a city there was a judge which did not fear god nor regard man verse 3 he says there was in that same city a widow and she came to him and said avenge me mine adversary for but for a while he would not afterwards he told himself he said though i fear not god nor regard man verse 5 that's the key he said yet because this widow troubled me i will avenge her lest by her continual coming some versions will say her importunity she weary me six verse six he says and hear what the lord says to the, about the unjust judge seven it says and shall not god avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him though he dare long with them i'm showing you scriptures that justify your persistently pushing that is your labor dimension so that you don't say i came for miracle service in january i dropped my request i have not seen it happen write it again it is not unbelief that is the labor dimension of faith the bible says give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem as a praise are we together the widow was defenseless and she went to the judge 
and she said avenge me my adversary i'm sure you say okay that's all right um come back again and she kept coming and the man said although i do not fear god and i did not regard man he said however this woman by her continuous coming it is jesus himself giving this so let me tell you you will pray today over what you prayed for before that has not yet happened it is not unbelief it is a labor dimension you are coming because you trust him father thank you you gave me a word that my children i will eat from my children in my lifetime it has not yet happened but i thank you because i'm in an atmosphere where it can happen therefore i have come again there is no responsible parent who should be tired of seeing their child no god wants to give us rest tonight in the name of jesus christ god wants to give us rest that means you have a responsibility to search the areas of your life where you have not yet seen rest in experience we're going to pray two kinds of prayer before i begin to minister number one will be a prayer of thanksgiving to say lord thank you for giving me rest in this area now you know the definition of rest you have taken away all the forces that that disturb me in this area thank you for giving me marital rest thank you for giving me financial rest you see but lord i thank you because you are faithful to save to the uttermost and that in in administering your rest you do it round about so while thanking you for this one i bring before you this one are we together now yes sir when you thank him for what he has done you make petitions with faith the bible says in mark chapter 11 and verse 44 it says what things soever ye desire mark 11 and um 24 not 4 mark 11 24 what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them what things soever ye desire the Bible talked about Naaman, the captain of the Syrian army. When it had to do with war and the matters of war, he had found rest. He was a valiant man, but the Bible says he was leprous. And now the time had come to do something about that leprosy. And do you know how he tackled the issue of leprosy? Through the aid of the little slave girl, he isolated every other area and just, he just focused on that issue of leprosy until he was done with it thank god for the testimonies you've shared thank god for the manifest presence of god and results that you have seen in other areas but for tonight we are thanking him for what he's done but then we are placing a demand by faith on his power to say lord you can finish what you have started is someone in agreement with me father you gave me land and i've built to lintel level thank you for grace but you are not only alpha you finish what you've started so that this building will not be an indictment on your integrity but that is not your best your best is you are a god of portions you desire to give me my own space Rehoboth, where i can say god has created my own space so while i thank you for the rent i am here tonight now that you have given me another opportunity the only person who should be silent when we begin to pray is the person who is dead but for as long as you are alive my bible says the path of the just is as a shining light even in heaven you can come up here you may be a man of god here god has trusted you with tremendous levels of grace you can thank him for that level of anointing thank him for that level of wisdom but say lord i have come again fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah lord i thank you that even with the bracelet i can still lift up my my the, the neck uh, you know whatever it is or whatever around my waist i can still give you thanks but lord i know i can do without it father thank you because i'm hearing on one ear i thank you for the privilege to even have one walking but lord you can make both whole and so i place a demand are we together and don't let the devil deceive you and say people are talking to god about serious issues and you are bringing this one 
is God complaining? What things soever ye desire when ye pray. And my Bible says this is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything according to his will that he heareth us. He heareth us. He's not an idol. Hallelujah. My job prophetically tonight is as a midwife to help and guide you while you deliver. Because that baby must come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. That baby must come out. There is a natural process of delivery for a woman. And that is usually the best. But if for any reason there is an unusual delay, doctors have another alternative to force that baby to come out. But coming out, he must come out. Are we together? Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Listen to me. I am a firm believer in Jesus Christ. And I am a firm believer in the miraculous. I truly believe in miracles. Because my life is one. Not just that I've seen one. He has made me one. I believe in miracles. What is a miracle? An occurrence that does not go through the normal sequence of the laws of life. You see, sponsored by the hand of God. An act of his mercy. An act of his might. An act of his love. This is a miracle service. It's not called a suggestion service. It's not called a counseling service. And whatsoever name Adam called it, that was the name thereof. Please rise up on your feet. Hello, Imadona. Hello, Imadona. Hello, Imadona. point number one is the prayer of thanksgiving i like you to look at the areas where you have tasted a level of rest and say thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus somebody is praying lord you have helped me ebenezer Tospa. you have shown me mercy in this area thank you someone is praying someone is praying Someone is praying. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. Are you praying? You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. The one you have shown mercy, you 
is praying. Father, thank you. Shalega pakatoska prendege bella kusiata. Someone is praying. Lord, you have shown me mercy. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Lord, you gave me a house this year. Thank you. You restored my soul. You restored my health. Thank you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, he says, and forget not his benefits. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. Now you are going to cry. Father, the word declares that you are able to save even to the uttermost. I have come. The Bible says that he would not allow the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Now that you have thanked him, he says, enter his courts with thanksgiving. His gates with thanksgiving. His courts with praise. He says, come before him with singing. Hallelujah. Listen, I don't want you to keep quiet. You are going to mention the areas where you must find rest. Lord, I give you thanks for this and that area. But right now, I come before you trusting the God of all flesh. Someone pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Shalegebakatosadabrandegebalakatoshiata. Rest, 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 there remaineth a rest, marital rest, financial rest, fruitfulness rest, business rest, spiritual growth rest, please pray, every area you are yet to find rest, Call upon the God who can give rest round about. Someone it may be in your business. Someone it may be in your ministry. Someone it may be in your family. Someone it may be in whatever area. Let us therefore labor to enter that rest. Please pray. Shabakatos kata branda gede balakotia. Lord, grant me rest. Round about. You are standing in for someone, here is the time to pray. Grant me rest. Grant me rest. That cancer, that diabetes, grant me rest. In the name of Jesus, grant me rest. Grant me rest. Hallelujah. We are still praying. 
I just sense to add one prayer point. Second Thessalonians three sixteen. Second Thessalonians three sixteen, I believe. One of the indices of rest is peace. Second Thessalonians three sixteen. It says, Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. We are going to pray that by all means prayer. Lord, how you do it, I leave it to your creativity. But my heart is open. Visit me by all means. Change my story by all means. It is within your power to make great. It is within your power. Someone pray by all means. You are the Lord of peace. Grant me rest, grant me peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. We are praying. Unfortunately, these two most important words, we don't seem to have the courage to use them for those who are alive. We only use them for those who are dead. We say rest in peace. Two important words that we should experience and enjoy in our lifetime. You don't have to wait until you are gone. You can experience rest and peace right now. You are not prophesying negatively. Declare it over yourself. Lord, rest and peace. You are giving it to me. In the name of Jesus. In my lifetime, I will find rest and find peace. Is someone praying? Outside, pray. All the overflows, pray. Online, pray. Grant me rest. Grant me peace. Rest round about. Rest round about. That you can bless me in all things. My life becomes a testimony and a testament. In the name of Jesus 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 listen you do not know there are ministers of the gospel here and they will tell you the greatest joy of any shepherd who truly loves his people is not his or her personal testimony is seeing God's people stand here to say look what the Lord has done Look at the marvelous things Turning my mourning to dancing My sorrow to joy So when I engage us to pray It is my desire As for me I am prepared and God is prepared But it is to prepare our hearts To make sure that we receive maximally Please don't be tired You are still going to pray one more time Say Lord with my eyes and my hands I will see a performance over this issue Whatever is the issue mention it that my answer will not remain in visions and dreams alone. I'm tired of seeing it in visions and then it stops there. I'm tired of having dreams and then it stops there. Tired of seeing the impartation in dreams and visions. Let it find expression. Tired of seeing the houses and the buildings in dreams and visions. Let it find expression. That which is finished from the realm of the spirit let it be made manifest here and now the word became flesh and he dwelt among men and we beheld his glory 
instead of seeing the job in the realm of the spirit and then I wake up and only find out I was dreaming tired of seeing the favor in the realm of the spirit make it manifest now oh God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Will you be tired if I give you a few prayer points? Two or three. One of the ways we bring favor to our lives is through favor provoking prayers. I have taught you and you have seen it here. Believe me, I don't know how people live without the favor of God. It's impossible. You are going to pray and say, Father, in this season, show me favor. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. End this drought in my life once and for all. Tired of going up financially and coming down. Tired of men liking me today and then everybody leaving me alone tomorrow. Show me favor. Tired of empty handedness. Someone is praying. Cry to the God of all flesh. Whether you're outside, whether you're online, please pray. And Jabez, pray. Right on to God. As a family, you are praying. As a ministry, you are praying. As a business, you are praying. Favor from heaven. I've taught you that the proof of favor is not just money. It's that men's hearts are loyal to you. Please pray. Oh, My favor has come. Oh, my favor has come. Oh, ah, my favor has come. Oh, my favor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number two. Speed. Listen. Dominion over time is real dominion. No matter what you dominate. If you cannot dominate time. You are still lagging behind. It was the delay of the bridegroom. That made five others to miss it out. They were prepared from the beginning. And they were virgins. But they expected the bridegroom to come fast. Lord whatever is bringing delay in my life. Bring speed to my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Bring speed to my destiny. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Speed of accomplishment. Speed of establishment. We are praying. We are praying. Satos kadi la kosi abanda kres. Ebra dege ba la kota skodo branda gete ba la katosi ata. Ebra katosa gete ba la tosi ata barando skodia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying speed. Let me show you a scripture that will bless you. Genesis 27. 
Let's start from verse 18. Please hurry up, give it to us. Genesis 27 verse 18. Do you know what happened here? This was Jacob and Esau. Isaac sent Esau. He said, go to the field and hunt and bring me meat. And then the mother of Jacob and Esau told Jacob, he said, go behind the house and bring one. And he made it quickly. This is Jacob now, disguising as Esau. There's a statement I want you to see. And he came unto his father and said, Father, and he said, I am here. Who art thou, my son? 19. And Jacob said to his father, I am Esau. I have done according as thou bathest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. Now watch this. 20. And Isaac said unto him, How is it that hast thou hast found it so quickly? What did you do that made this? You are not supposed to get this result under normal circumstances with this feet. His answer is our next prayer point. And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. Someone is going to pray, Lord, bring it to me. It is within your power. Bring it to me. One of the ways we experience speed is that God will bring it to you. Lord, bring it to me. Bring it to me. What I am looking for, it can look for me. You can bring it to me. You can bring the job to me by your mercy. How come you have found it so quickly? He says, the Lord brought it to me. Some of you, as you are praying, you are already receiving supernatural answers. Bring it to me, O oh God. The destiny help us. I am tired of looking for them. Lord, bring it to me. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now please listen. We are going to minister. We will pray for the sick. But my focus tonight. Is these two areas. The area of favor. And the area of speed. Listen. It is impossible. For you to not laugh. When God honors you on this wise. That God brings favor. The proof of favor is not money. You don't need favor to have money. Wisdom alone can sort that. But the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you, that is favor. When Jesus was born, the Magi, because of what was on him, they came all the way from the east. When men come, they don't come empty. The Bible says they came and met a baby, bringing him the gift of gold, frankincense and man when God was restoring Job in Job chapter 42 the 11th verse his restoration happened because all his acquaintances and all those who had left him the Bible says the first thing that happened when God was restoring Job was that his acquaintances all the people who had left him the Bible says his brethren all his sisters who left him that means one of the ways that the devil attacks men is to remove men from your life god can handpick men but when there is a mass exodus of useful people it's an attack did you hear what i said one time he told the apostle he said don't be afraid i have many men in this city that means it's not only angels i have i have many men who can protect and defend your cause favor favor i have prayed this for you every day and i will continue to pray it because i have discerned and i have seen in my life and in this ministry it is impossible to truly sustainably do anything without favor the number one reason why people fail more than demonic attack is the absence of favor because when you have the favor of God, you can rule even in the midst of your enemies. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 
God bless you. Now I'm going to pray for you. Listen. What does it mean to pray for people? It's more than just falling down. I want you to understand this. What your expectation should not just be to fall down and to stand up. You can fall down and stand up and honestly not receive anything. Are we together? That can just be the effect of the movement of God's power. Your physical body that you may not be able to stand. But when I say I am praying for you, the first thing is that your eyes should be on Jesus. Your faith should be alive. You are now listening for when your word comes. And you are receiving it by faith. And if and where the miracle should manifest now like healing, you are insisting that it happens. I'm going to pray for you because there are demon spirits. And I'm going to ask you to bring them out. For as long as I live, I will never stop casting out demons. For as long as I live, I will never stop trust standing in faith with Jesus to set the captives free. There are invisible spirits standing at the corridors of men's destinies and frustrating the purposes of God. Listen, when you see that certain battles are beyond the scope of humans, there is a spirit at work. But now, thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Are you ready? I want to pray for you. I want you to bring them out here. We are going to be very fast because I want to take our time to pray for the sick. There are people who are under all kinds of yokes. Manipulations of darkness. Some of you are coming here for the first time. Some of you have come because you are completely confused. What is the name of what is going on with my life? Nothing seems to be working. I want to pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus and at the count of three, I want you to shout that name Jesus. And that fire from heaven will fall upon anything that does not name the name of Christ and get it out of your life. Are you ready? Father, we give you all the glory. I'm telling you, I'm already sensing such power from heaven. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I decree and declare right now, everything that is not of God, Give way now. Give way now. Every altar, every orchestration of darkness, I command that it must leave. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. In the name of Jesus, please help them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing something that looks like a chain, but I'm seeing it on the heads of people being removed, not hands on the heads i decree and declare as many who are victims of this i bring you deliverance right now from the throne in the name of jesus bring them out i bring you deliverance right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus, the name of jesus. The name of jesus. my god I'm seeing fire coming on people. I'm seeing at least the number 44. This is inside and outside. And the Lord is bringing deliverance not only for you, but this is for your entire family. They have prayed. This is witchcraft that has tied down families. Some of you will be alright, but the power of God will still come on you. On behalf of your family, in the name of Jesus, I Bring them out. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for people. The moment you go to bed, encounters with dead people, those who have already gone. What, what fellowship has the living and the dead? In the name of, we are not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect. We are talking of demon spirits. I'm about to pray for you now. The power of God is coming upon you. That every association connecting you to the grave and connecting you to the dead, it must give up. Father, I decree and declare, let your power rest now and bring liberty. Liberty, 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 in the name of Jesus. Alanda shalagato brandegede balatuzia. 
Oh death, where is your sting and oh grave, where is your victory? Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? The Lord is showing me the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the anointing of the Spirit go to Emo state. Emo. And, and the power of God is coming on people now that are connected to that state. This is, is, is a sign and a wonder how God does it. In the name of Jesus, anyone under any kind of yoke connected to ancestry from this region, be delivered right now. 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 Arada shalagado sabrende gebala subria hasia. Krada sabege debala tuzia. Every time a miracle is about to happen to you, you will have a dream in the night. Either someone molesting you or something happens, and that is the end of it. Somebody who said I will favor you, Matakatos Kata, will turn against you. I decree and declare by the decree of the waters, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every altar sponsoring delay and sponsoring um abortions of great dreams just when it's about to happen i cause it right now i cause it bring them out i cause it right now listen many of you have heard the stories of people they will tell you i suddenly got a job that i applied for in 2017 it did not just happen there are spirits that stop it but when they are taken away upon mount zion there shall be deliverance then holiness then possessing of possessions There is someone you are at the back you are a man of god i just saw fire come on you you don't even know why ministry has not been working the lord is visiting you i'm seeing at the back there is such such anointing that glory is just resting upon someone and breaking that yoke of delay in ministry that people come and they go they come and they go there is no staying and there's no growing in the name of jesus wherever that person is may the power of god touch you right where you are in the name of jesus christ do you know there is the spirit of poverty then there is the mindset of poverty if the only thing you correct is the mindset you will still be poor there is the spirit of poverty there is the mindset of poverty then there is the absence of value and productivity all of these are factors that ultimately lead to poverty you can find your place in terms of providing value but if the spirit and the mindset is not corrected you will still be poor you can provide value and even upgrade your mind but the limitation of intellect it cannot cross beyond to the realm of the spirit and correct spiritual things are we together the same way the spirit of poverty can be cast away but the mindset of poverty can remain you will still be poor the mindset of poverty can go away and the spirit of poverty can go away but then if there is no value and productivity you may it may not amount to much you will just have an epileptic financial life here you will learn the whole counsel of god it is the value and productivity but then the transition that happens to you mentally but ultimately the king of tyre he sits in tyre and sidon himself he lifted jesus and took him into an exceeding high mountain and said showed him all the kingdoms and the glories and he said i will give you this is not the issue of you are transformed i will is a transaction we will do from the realm of the spirit i want to rebuke that spirit there is a real spirit of poverty i have seen people who spend 10 20 years in the u.s and will return back when you see them in the village today respectfully speaking you will never believe that they've even traveled even to the, the state the capital it's a spirit 
when you find out four or five graduates all with phd and the least person respectfully speaking is maybe some teacher somewhere earning twenty thousand with phd this is more than the issue of value there is a spirit my assignment is to deal with spirits hear me anytime you see that you are not where you use where you should be and from a physical standpoint all that should be in place is in place there is a spirit stopping you let me pray for someone in up see many people the power of god will come on so many people over this prayer father i am praying that every territorial altar that has sponsored poverty generational hardships you are still going to shout that name jesus i decree and declare at the shout and the blast of that name jesus let the fire of god fall and deliver families are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command that altar give way now bring them out i cost that spirit i cost that spirit i cost that spirit Tying down families, tying down destinies, be lifted in the name of Jesus. My God, miracles are happening here. Deliverances of all sorts. Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. Bring them out if you can. Hallelujah. Who is Janet? I'm hearing a name Janet. I want to pray for the sick. Janet. I can imagine that there are many people with that name, but the Lord is speaking Janet. Shali Parus Gesi Bahashalanda Kuziata Brahaski. My dear, you are stepping into a new season of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. This is not only you, this is you and your husband. It's a season of reward that is coming. God is looking upon you with favor and with grace. And I declare may that grace rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are five or six people who will start running out. Please hold them and bring them out gently. <sighs> Lift up your heads. O oh, ye gates. 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 O oh, ye, oh, ye gates. Bring them out. I'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit. I made this statement because I just saw a gate, very old gate. It's like it just blasted and it opened. That's why I, I was prophesying that. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. For some of these gates, they have been closed for centuries. They have been closed for decades. Like Jericho, nothing comes out and nothing comes in. But the God of vengeance is opening those gates right now. Please help them so that no one injures themselves. Janet. Good Janet. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you. Janet. I just saw something come out. Like physically. Just um, I, I almost didn't even know that. Just come out of one of you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. The Bible says a curse causeless shall not stand. So if it stands, there is a cause. And if there is a cause, the remedy is the blood. Therefore, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every legal access, I use these people in front as a point of contact, every legal access that the devil has over any life and any destiny that is authorizing oppression by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel, I declare that legal access is broken now. 
broken now broken now broken now open your mouth in one minute and declare every legal access that is authorizing oppression by the blood of Jesus even the blood of the eternal covenant I declare my release I declare my release I announce a jubilee by the spirit of grace faith brings me to my jubilee and I declare I announce a jubilee someone is praying a financial jubilee a health jubilee Hallelujah. Who is Christova? I'm hearing the name Christova. We may not have all the time to just prophesy. Christova. Restoration is coming. Christova. Ah, can you imagine? This man, that was his wife, Del, that was under the anointing. Christova. Who sells phones? phones like electronics but I'm saying phone you sell you sell phone is there someone like that you have like a phone shop I want to pray for the person now please if it's your issue you had the testimony of that gentleman once there's a delay protocol will naturally have to stop you because we have to hurry up when you find that you sell phone you deal with phone gadgets please let me have that person I want to pray for him Christova, the Lord is bringing restoration. That's what I heard in my spirit. Restoration. Two of you, the power of God is coming upon you. A strange grace is coming upon you for restoration. The way God will restore things, it will surprise you. Everyone will receive, but two of you, the power of God is coming on you. In the name of Jesus, I declare it so. May that mantle rest upon your life. Let there be restoration, supernatural restoration. Where is that lady that gave that footballer, that my footballer lady, where is she? The lady who came to... As she was testifying, God had put it in my heart to pray. Is she here? Is she around? She's a footballer now. She should hurry up. You are a footballer. You should be able to. Your life is about to change. Do you believe in miracles? Hmm. Yes, sir. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen, kingmakers don't become kings, but they enthrone and they dethrone. It is by privilege of grace. There is something that is happening here as I'm praying. You will hear testimonies of people like that thing they say, grass is it grass, grass to grace. My dear, in the name of Jesus. I place an anointing upon you I'm seeing that the doors of Europe will open for you receive that grace take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ as I prayed for her let me speak for to, over everyone anyone called Mephibosheth that you are in your lowly estate by reason of certain disadvantages in your life in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that David sends for you. The season has come for your lifting. Oh, thou Mephibosheth, David has sent Ziba to look for you. I stand as a prophetic Ziba. In the name of Jesus, you are sent for by the lion of the tribe of Judah, even the root of David. In the name of Jesus Christ. And David said, Is there any man of the house of Saul that he may dine with me? And Ziba went to Lord Eber and brought Mephibosheth. And he made the sons of Ziba to plow the land for him. But as for him, he said, You will dine with me here for the rest of your days. Go 
God has visited your wife, Christopher. At least I know this one. This is not. It's your turn. Favor. God is going to be connecting you to people of strange influence. I release that grace right now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the gates of this city will open for you in a way that will surprise you. Let this happen even by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, what do you do? Why are they all here? This one at the back. That one with a nose, nose mask. Phone, phone, phone gadgets. Phone gadgets. Yes. Where? In Dutse. Dutse. Dutse shopping complex. Sir. Okay. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Two months. Yes, sir. Two Amen. months Amen. from now. Amen. Please hear me. Take that grace. Two months from now. My God will turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. This is by the Spirit. I'm not the one doing it. It's as instructed that the Lord puts in my heart and I declare it in the name of Jesus and for all of you who have come out here for various reasons there is a man you are a lawyer what is God doing with legal people I'm seeing the Lord is bringing restoration this is a legal practitioner in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is but you have lost money you have lost things in the name you don't have to come out please just except i ask you if not the time we may not be able to what do you do huh where i'm a lawyer i practice in abuja integrity chambers where integrity chambers how long has this been i've been to practice for the past 10 years do you believe in the power of god yes sir you've lost everything yes sir money yes sir. opportunities yes, sir. they defrauded you yes sir. but now god wants to restore you amen do you believe this yes sir. i believe sir do you know you would think that because the power of god flows through me i should be used to this i'm standing in shock myself as i watch how god turns lives around believe me believe me my friend in the name of jesus i use you as a point of contact every legal practitioner here you've not been rising no clients no open doors fire is coming on you now i'm seeing someone you are in the ushering department and you are a lawyer you are a lady where is that person your doors are opening Please. Just take it. Don't worry. You don't have to. God is going to visit you. Legal practitioner. In the name of Jesus. Please don't tell lies. Make sure. Are you, are you lawyers? Huh? Father. You have spoken. In the name of Jesus. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let doors be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, the one I started praying for, in Jesus' name I pray for you. Let there be restoration. Forget about everything you have lost. The God of heaven is able to restore. If he restored Job, may he restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Philips? Philips. Who is? May God bless you. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. I want to pray for the sick, but am I wasting your time? Philips, I'm hearing. Please, let's verify so that, you know, sometimes these people just run, whether they are the ones or not. They will come and they will say, by faith. We are people of faith, but let's just make sure that we don't tell lies. You can receive by faith. That gentleman, God wants to turn his life around. Philips. Take it easy, take it easy, please. The ushers are trying. They are human beings who take it easy. If they are tired, they will leave you to fall down. You may enjoy yourself. Let's take it easy. What do you do, my friend? And I'm a teacher. Where? I have a cosmetic shop. And I'm a professional teacher. So I combine the both. Okay, I want to pray for you. Where are they coming out? You are Philips too? All of you? I will pray for you. The one with white. What are you doing? I'm a businessman. Okay, we'll pray. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I don't 
don't know what God is doing with ushers. There's one ushering person who will shout now under the anointing. The power of God. I don't know whether it's inside here, whether it's outside. I'm praying for... Every altar. In the name of Jesus, I curse it right now. Hear me. Whatever will not give you rest. In the name of Jesus, may it be laid to rest now. May, may it be laid to rest now. For all of you, you came out here for various reasons. I stretch my hands towards you. May the power of God rest upon you. And everything that has brought retrogression in your life, let it come to an end now. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. The gentleman under the anointing, he is blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please don't be embarrassed. There are... I'm seeing one of them, I don't know, it's like you are up somewhere, you are a medical doctor. And then one I'm seeing in one of the overflows. These two, I know there are many medical doctors here. But I'm just walking as the Spirit of God is granting me grace. Because we are going to quickly pray for the sick. Medical doctor. I don't know if um, one of them I know for sure is in one of the overflows. And then... Is there someone like that? I want to speak over your life. God is changing your life. In one of the, not outside, one of the overflows. You are a medical doctor. And then someone within this place. Like somewhere up the balcony, not here. You are a medical doctor. Is there someone like that? Please, when you find them, let me speak over their lives. So that we will bring this to an end. Now, I don't mean to embarrass you. But there's... The person I'm seeing is a lady. You made your hair. You didn't tie it. This is what I'm seeing. You're a lady. You didn't like you pack your hair like this. Is there someone like that? Medical doctor. See how many doctors we have here. That means we shouldn't be sick. Spiritually and medically. Hallelujah. Father, I was going to say something just escaped my mind now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, you, you 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 would imagine that these sincere people, some of them, please, I'm not insulting you, eh? I'm not insulting you, but you can't imagine the things I'm seeing as I'm looking here. These are sincere people who love the Lord, attending to other people, and yet for some of them there are all kinds of embargoes just holding them down. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare right now. There's one of you, there is such fire that is coming on you right now as I'm speaking. In the name of Jesus, release them now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare freedom for you in the name of Jesus. You have been applying to go abroad, applying to go abroad, applying to go abroad. It's like this spirit will not let it happen. You have not even gone past the first stage and it's not like you are lazy. Something just happens and it does not even work. Even before scholarships and now everything is over, you were not even given. In the name of Jesus, I declare, by the power of the Holy Spirit, a change of story comes for you now. A change of story comes for you now. A change of story comes for you now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me to do something different. Please bring out your prayer request. Don't submit it. Just bring it out. You are going to pray holding it. It's a good thing to walk with the Holy Spirit and not just to be mechanical. Please bring out your prayer request. If you've not written, you may want to write it down. I'm not a prophet of doom. And usually I would not come to say this in the open. But 
let's pray i'm seeing a major person in the judiciary go to be with the lord just like that and they say this person has gone i'm not a prophet of doom but and ordinarily it, it will not even profit me to say anything sometimes god just puts it in your heart and he has been insisting i've been struggling with it to say it but we have to pray there are some things that the prayer now is to help the people so that they put their houses in order but i'm seeing someone in the judiciary you will hear this happen may the lord show the family mercy in the name of jesus christ and that they put their houses in order but this is what god has revealed to me please bring your prayer requests i want you to truly believe that the things that you have written will come to pass some of you you may not have any personal need but you are writing for the sake of others some of you are holding photos in one minute ordinarily i would ask you to bring it here but the lord just began to put this in my spirit i've not even prayed for the sick and even if we pray and we don't have the time to take testimonies that's fine this is it's not some ritual where people who are led of the spirit hallelujah but in one minute while holding your prayer request i want you to agree with god and say father everything that i've written in the name of jesus let it become my testimony someone is praying everything i have written everything i have written outside inside you're writing it for yourself those online you're connecting by faith in the name of jesus i have seen god answer prayers in remarkable ways please pray it's an instruction that god is putting in my spirit if you can mention the things you wrote mention them by faith to be anxious for nothing the bible says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to let our requests be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god hallelujah now please hear me i'm going to give a very serious instruction and i want you to listen please listen if you are here and you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb please listen you have been trusting god for the fruit of the womb we are going to pray during the program but immediately after the program please I want to meet with you so all those who are here number one be sure you are married and then number two make sure that um you are serious about what we are saying we are believers we are not idol worshippers so if you if you don't believe just go away but those you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb please after the service i want you to wait i will ask the pro you can wait in front here i'll ask the protocol to lead you i want to have a word with you your salvation has come in the name of jesus believe me when i tell you your salvation has come in the name of jesus now while you are standing please you can pass your request to the last person ushers please let's collect it now let's collect it now who is samuel a baby samuel a baby is there someone like that a baby oh huh your son and so you stand now who else samuel a baby you too is my friend but even though he's not a baby this boy is how old is he ah four 
You are not a baby boy, you are my friend. Because you have smiled at me, I will pray for you. Eh? How are you? Are you my friend? Yes. Beautiful. Because you are my friend. Welfare. I don't know where you are going to find cake, but make sure this my little boy, this boy, give him something and bless him. Huh? In fact, except it will create chaos. If it will not create chaos, and we can do it in the next one minute, from one to ten, bring all our children here. <laughs> Parents, if you can do it orderly, please don't carry anybody's child who is not your own. This is a large house. I'm warning now. Let's obey instructions. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Let's celebrate our children as they come. This is Koinonia Future. Is this how you are honoring them? Parents, if they are coming out, hold them. Anyone that cannot walk you, come with them. Jesus loves the little children All the children of the world Red, brown, yellow, black and white They are precious in His sight Jesus loves the little children of the world Hallelujah Children, God bless you, eh? Just behave well, don't give your parents headache We're about to pray for you, huh? Some of you at this age, you were in a shrine. You were not even here. So glory to God that we have our children in the house of God. I know what I'm saying. Some of you at this age, there was an altar and all kinds of demonic things being done on you. It's just in my spirit to pray for these precious children. Don't belittle them. The person whose future you have already seen, you've seen it. But the one whose future you have not seen, only God knows. Remember what you are learning as an adult is what they are learning as children. Please, if you are coming, come quickly. Parents, I'm seeing some other people come. We are all going to do it. We'll pray this prayer. Sorry, sorry. Help me. Please, just comfort the children. Soon we'll have a children's department. You see how this is children. There has to be a way of managing this. So, for those of you who are in children's ministry, get ready. You will soon have work in the name of Jesus. Start, start thinking already. Start planning. How are we going to have the best child care system? Now please stretch your hands wherever you are to these ones. And I want you to begin to speak over their lives from the depth of your heart. Pray like you are praying for your own biological child. Is someone praying? This is part of the miracle service. Please cry to the God of heaven. Don't worry if you are holding a child's picture, just lift it. You don't have to come. Just lift it where you are. Please pray. Children pray to talk to Jesus. Father, we pray for our children. We pray for our children. We pray for our children. We pray for our children in the name of Jesus. These koinonia children will not be lost. Please someone pray. They will not die before their time. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God is upon them. They represent the future of this ministry, the future of this vision. Lord, we love them, we honor them, and we pray that you will bless them. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Someone rebuke Satan. The Lord rebuke you over the life of these children. We separate them from the company of wicked and unreasonable men. We separate them from occultism, initiations of, of infants. In the name of Jesus, we declare they are free, free, free from it. And if there is any child here that is under any kind of occultic manipulation, witchcraft, wizardry, in the name of Jesus, we bring them deliverance now. We bring them deliverance now. We bring them deliverance now. I decree and declare, I join my faith with everyone here and every parent here and we speak over our children. 
in the name of Jesus prayer number one none of them will die an infant I say it again none of them will die an infant number two everything connected to ancestry whether coming from the east the west the north and the south in the name of Jesus we bring them deliverance now number three academically we place an anointing upon them may they excel like daniel number four as touching the matters of god may they have the encounters of samuel even as infants in the name of jesus christ and finally i am praying that every parent here who is alive seeing their children in the name of jesus you will see them as adults you will see them as leaders you will see them as great people in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you and the lord increase you in jesus name let's celebrate them as they go please i want you to lay your hands you are trusting god for a healing miracle lay your hands now please i want us to be very orderly with the children make sure that they go back to their parents or their loved ones please let's let's make sure that they go children can run around and play but make sure that they go especially for the, the very small ones let's make sure that they return back please lay your hands i want to pray some of you this is a major reason why you came here tonight because of our time we may not i'm not sure that we may have the time to take testimonies tonight because um i, I don't want to stretch us too long we can leave all the testimonies for the next week but i want you to lay your hands there why do we pray for the sick because there is a relationship between sickness and death there is a strong relationship between sickness and death now please if you are here and you came with a sick person you can stand in for them by faith or if you are following from a hospital there are several hospitals that connect to the miracle services they have their patients trusting God and we've heard marvelous testimonies of miracles whether it is high blood pressure whether it is hepatitis HIV whatever it is just lay your hands I want to pray for you right now I have experienced the healing power of Jesus in my own life so I know that he heals I know that he, he heals just lay your hands there no one jesus there is no one darling there is no one jesus there is no one else like him no one jesus there is no one darling there is no one For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no There is a man you are not in here but you are suffering from prostrate he's been diagnosed already in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the power of god is coming upon you right now the power of god is coming upon you right now the lord is showing me a woman your left breast there are multiple lumps there verify you've gone to the hospital in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living God I bring you life right now now I rebuke every spirit 
I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down. And every time I see this, this prophetically signifies blood pressure. Whether high blood pressure, low blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, I am praying right now for every and anyone who is here suffering from high blood pressure, low blood pressure. In Jesus name, be healed now. God is healing someone with the issue of blood. This is a terrible thing. Sometimes you almost feel dizzy, almost like you collapse. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Please help them. Let there be healing for you now. Let there be healing for you now. Every blood condition, blood condition, HIV, hepatitis, in the name of Jesus, I speak over your life. Be healed now. You can bring the request. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout a loud Amen. I'm seeing someone around, I don't know if it's your armpit area or the side. You have a growth, something that looks like a boil that has come out is so discomforting and is painful in the name of jesus i am praying for you may the power of god rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you in the name of jesus christ eye conditions you're already having cataract glaucoma in the name of jesus or any kind of eye condition you're already seeing things that are not there because of severe, severe pains, water coming out of your eyes, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. There's someone you have from your lumbar vertebra down and then another person you have severe pain just around your back here. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where that person is. Who is that? What's that you are lifting? A corset? Are you the one holding it? Do you believe in miracles? Lift it and come. You are healed. Come. Lift it up. Is it for you? How long? 20... 13. What couldn't you do? I, I can't bend. Look at me. You, brought, you came here with this. Yes, sir. All the way from Joss. All the way from Joss. Yes, sir. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, bend. Check yourself. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at. He's checking himself. This woman too. Who is this? Back pain. Back pain. Yes. For how long, ma? For more than eleven years. More than eleven years. Yes. Even last last month, I received injection two hundred and forty-two in this hospital. Two hundred and forty-two. Yes, and I'm still receiving. See here for back. And Madam. L four, L five. And then down to my leg, your knee. What's um, now? We didn't plan to take testimonies, but you see, God, God knows that some people need this for their faith. Huh? Madam, 200 and... 243, yes, until I lost count. Because every day they will give me four, yes? Yeah? Then my two hands, they can still see the sign of the... Intervenous my dear, my that's all, it's, it's all right, madam. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. My dear, Usher, place your hand on her back. Father, this is a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, 242 injections. This is, this is demonic. This is not a medical condition. Father, let Jesus be glorified tonight. I decree and declare, be healed now. Madam, look at me. Bend over slowly. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Stand up. Bend again. Bend again. Any pain. Bend again. Look at what is happening to her. 
your legs in the name of Jesus stand up look at me lift your leg no 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 watch what I'm doing watch what I'm doing do it take it easy watch what I'm doing are you seeing what Jesus is doing to this woman now walk madam walk try to walk just twist while you are walking any pain look at what is happening to her my goodness what is happening to you madam look at ah look at this look at this i'm still seeing god bless you madam i'm still seeing somebody please forgive me but this there is an anointing for bone conditions to heal people there are some of you who came with crutches whether outside or where please i want you to i have my conscience my heart i will not be able to sleep knowing that the power of god for this miracle has come whether i know somebody was healed outside i know there are a number of people lift it now and walk lift it now and walk while we pray in the name of jesus take it easy we're not we're not stage managing or faking anything yet this is the power of god walking through people walking through people please when you find a miracle let us know and then if we can have one or two of them but let me finish the prayer um there's someone it looks like something is stuck around your throat in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you right now by the power of the holy spirit in fact the lord is showing me someone there is a swelling like this is a thyroid you know this um this thing that swells the throat in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but the power of god is coming upon that person right now don't tell lies make sure you really have such a situation who is the person we are praying right now oh i can see it look at all the wonderful destinies that the devil wants to trap with this demonic thing your own is an attack eh? lady number two i cast that spirit out now the name of jesus father for your name and for your glory this demonic thing i don't care what it is and where it came from but in the name of jesus the son of the living god by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now be healed now that the spirit behind it is caused right now in the name of jesus christ there will be complete healing complete healing for you in jesus name i'm still praying for the sick i remember calling out samuel a baby before we spoke about the children i didn't get to pray is there a baby called Samuel? Maybe I'll just pray. We may not have time for all of them to come out. But there is the Lord is asking me to rebuke an attack over a Samuel who is a baby. Some of my dear people, leaders here have their children called Samuel. And any other person here connected in the name of Jesus. There's a miracle that has happened there. Look at this. Let's celebrate Jesus. Are you seeing what the Lord is doing? The lady is even surprised herself. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. You are the covenant keeping God. You are Yahweh. My dear, you came with this. Yes, I did. What happened to you? Well, you were praying, so I. No, what happened before now? I woke up one morning and all of a sudden I couldn't 
look up if I look up my neck will hurt so badly if I look down my neck will hurt so badly I was having back pain I was having neck pain here I went to the hospital and they recommended this and I've been wearing it since then how long? for like about a week or two now oh okay it's just something that happened recently yes. place your hand on your neck in the name of Jesus we do not trivialize this miracle this is the Lord's doing Satan the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus look at me my dear any pain any pain any pain look at this in the name of Jesus perfection for you even by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ perfection for you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know but again the Spirit of God is taking me outside there's someone I don't know what miracle has happened to you outside that's not the overflows now outside in the name of Jesus Christ I, I, I don't know what miracle that is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead I think this is something that has to do with your legs from what I'm seeing in Jesus name I am praying for you let life let strength let vitality rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you have been suffering severely from breathing problems you don't have asthma yet it acts as though it's asthma you know severe breathing problems breathing problems I'm praying for the sick is there someone like that the Lord wants to set you free right now how long has this been Help a gentleman and a lady who will shout under the anointing now. One day I will take the time to explain to you why these things happen. So that you can understand because sometimes when we don't have an understanding it just looks like these are just some what's that please they should take it easy listen let me teach you something in administering miracles don't just get excited to show that the man of god is anointed or the power of god is in the place that you punish and frustrate the people who are remember everything we do is by love so even when the people believe and if they start moving you guide them as they are relieving their faith and the miracle now manifests that is when you can bring them up to testify don't don't try to embarrass them and put them you know under pressure either because you've lifted their wheelchairs or you've lifted their crutches we're not pretending this when a miracle happens a miracle has happened it's as simple as that are we together now breathing problems please help them three of you the power of God is coming on you now is the spirit of death after that I can pray for the rest this one is the spirit of death it's just the instruction God is giving me three of you there is an anointing that is coming that one is, is the manifestation of the spirit of death you must let them go Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Now I pray for you. Every wicked oppression affecting you, affecting your breathing, whether in the night or in the day, connected to any medical condition, be healed now. I use this once as a point of contact to pray for everyone. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Lay your hands on your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus. It has been there for a long time. But now you must go. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. 
in Jesus name be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not I decree and declare outside all the overflows inside following online every situation that you've had there's someone God is visiting you you may not come out you have a baby that is not growing I don't know what the medical condition is but your baby is not growing and this is a very demonic thing right now in the name of Jesus wherever that parent or that baby is I stretch my hands and I declare life and healing now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus one lady is going to shout under the anointing all I will tell you is that a miracle is happening to your womb that's what is happening to you I don't know who that person is but the Holy Spirit just means that the power of God is coming on you a miracle is happening your womb your womb it is something that medically cannot be corrected but the Lord is visiting you now it is something that medically cannot be corrected but the power of God is resting upon you now my God look how many people outside those outside lift your hands I have to pray for you the camera has shown me those outside I'm praying for everyone but I want to speak over those outside those outside whether you are by the roadside whether wherever it is I want you to stand I want to pray for you we pray and trust that God will grant us grace soon to have our own facility in Jesus name are you in agreement with me you can see that those who are within the main auditorium are a very minute fraction there are so many people all the overflows following online thousands of people outside those outside we are agreeing with you in the name of Jesus Christ everything that represents shame and reproach by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare let it be broken from off your life now let it be broken from off your life now now those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus as loud as you can the power of God is going to come on some of you and that will be my ministration for you and then we'll just pray and do the altar call and wrap up those outside father in the name of Jesus even as you have put it in my heart for all the thousands of people outside who have stood in faith in the name of Jesus trusting you to visit them I decree and declare Lord by that shout let there be an avalanche of your glory your deliverance your power upon every one of them are you ready now those outside just the people outside one two three shout Jesus I decree and declare everything that is not of God let it give way right now I release you into the prophetic blessing of the Lord I decree it by the power of the Holy Spirit supernatural miracles over your life in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles over your life in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name stretch your hands over the request I know you prayed for them but please stretch your hands stretch your hands over the requests stretch your hands over the requests thank you thank you father in the name of Jesus Christ I bow my knees even over these requests there are people trusting God for financial miracles there are people trusting God for change of stories trusting God for the salvation of their loved ones Lord they have brought this as an act of faith I stand by the privilege of priesthood and I declare over this request may they be answered by fire may they be answered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ every human agent 
who must walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for answers to this request I compel their ministry over your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that even from tonight let there be a harvest of supernatural results a harvest of supernatural answers a harvest of supernatural testimonies because you believe I declare that you receive it in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and as I would always pray these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your hands and receive this prophetic blessing every door that has been closed over your life and destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that door be open now may that door be open now number two every human vessel who has proposed to help you but for some reason they've not been able to attend to you this week coming in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy that you receive their help in the name of Jesus Christ number three everyone trusting God for a job here you've heard the testimonies I declare yet again may my God surprise you every business here by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare that the Lord God of heaven will cause you to excel in the name of Jesus Christ I pray I know that from an economic standpoint it looks like times are very difficult but I want to declare even as you have prayed may the grace for exemption in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you but please hear me no one here under the sound of my voice will become a victim of any kidnapping as you go by road as you go by sea as you go by air you are supernaturally protected in the name of Jesus and every orchestration of darkness against anyone here you are delivered now those seeking God for promotion I declare let it be yours those seeking God for restoration in families let there be that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray as always for your spiritual life this is the highest and the noblest index to measure your success I decree and declare fire like never before upon your prayer life fire like never before upon your word life in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me if you came here facing any circle of disappointment any cycle of disappointment I'm declaring to you this night it comes to a permanent end anything that has left you that should not have left by the power of the prophetic we call it back to your life hear me some of you is not like you are doing bad but sincerely you've not done anything extraordinary for a long time is you can't say you are not doing maybe you are doing poorly but you can't also say you are excelling the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter may that ever brighter grace rest on you that ever brighter grace rest on you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah oh I'm, I'm i just i didn't even notice i'm just spotting choma jesus <laughs> hallelujah now god bless you my worship team people make sure 
after Choma Jesus, please let me plead. After the grace, you people will wait, she will pray and bless you. This woman you see, this is this is 50 years. Am I right on that? Yes. 50. Serving the purposes of God. What a lovely woman. Early, uh, I think, I don't know what month it was. I was with her in Oweri. It was such a beautiful, beautiful meeting. So, my dear people, there is grace for you to receive after the grace. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You have celebrated me. You have honored me. You have seen what God has done in and through my life. I want to pray a prayer for no, you don't have to kneel or did, but please. This thing called grace for visibility is not you can't manipulate it. It's not about social media. If the grace is not on you, if you like beg people to see you, they will say we are busy. I decree and declare whatever has hidden you so that your glory will not be seen by the power that raised Christ from the dead in this season find supernatural visibility from America to Europe to Asia to Africa even in Nigeria visibility for your ministry visibility for your family visibility for your business visibility for your products visibility for your business outfit in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here who has the call of God upon his life I declare by reason of your encounter here you will not fail help them you will not fail men women pastors apostles prophets evangelists missionaries receive the engraving for a new season in the name of Jesus I pray for your finances by the power that raised Christ from the dead you shall not beg you shall not beg step into the overflow by the anointing of the spirit you will sort the breast of kings and in their glory you will post yourself in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will multiply you you will not be small he will glorify you you will not be few in the name of Jesus Christ The last prayer point because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I want to pray for you honor is a grace you've heard me say you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon another I pray for you by the privilege of this that we have received in the name of Jesus we have received it from God we have received it through the fathers we have received it to them that sell in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may this mantle rest upon you anywhere you have been despised may that grace bail you out in the name of Jesus Christ Wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the glory. Wave your hands to Jesus from left to right and tell him thank you. Lord, we thank you for tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to make the altar call and then we're done. There are people here, thank you, you've been standing for long. Thank you for your patience. You may sit for a minute or two. There are people here who need to hand over their lives to Jesus. Please, let's minimize movement so that you allow those who are coming to come. There are people who are saying, Apostle, I have seen the power of God, I have seen the hand of God, but I sincerely need Jesus in my life, even right now. I know that you may see people moving up and down, but please, I'd like you to focus. This call is for your destiny. Two in one. There are those who are saying, I need to make this decision afresh. 
and there are those who are saying i need to rededicate my life to jesus you belong to any of these categories we have one minute for you very boldly and without shame with gallancy leave your seat and come as we appreciate you let's honor them as they come let's honor them as they come koinonia is this the best you can do from the main auditorium the balcony all the overflows outside following online come to jesus let's celebrate them as they come i'm counting one to five and then we pray one two if you're coming please run please clear the way for them so that they make it apostle i want to come but i'm not sure if i'm saved i'm not exactly bad but i'm not safe come god bless you join them very quickly so that you can have what the bible calls or what we call the assurance of salvation four young and old please come come to jesus he's able to give you a new beginning and finally five you're coming please rush apostle i'm still thinking about it do i come i want to come but i'm ashamed of my friends i'm ashamed of those who i came with please leave them and come this is a very personal decision amen thank you please may i request thank you for coming may i request that you lift your hands high above your head as a sign of surrender all the overflows those who have come out please the same and then following online maybe in your home anywhere i'd like you to just lift your hands say after me very loud and clear say lord jesus one more time please say it. say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died and rose again for my justification right now i make jesus lord of my life i make jesus savior of my soul and i declare that jesus is my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god i'm born again in jesus name keep your hands lifted thank you father for these ones you have brought them even by your spirit the bible declares that as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away in the name of jesus based on your declaration i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that it is a new beginning for you in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray for you that the life of god would find visible expression in your life i commend you to the word of his grace i commend you to the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded in righteousness in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father in jesus name let me pray for this gentleman i rebuke that spirit you heard his confession let him go now in the name of jesus release him by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name i pray amen thank you very much for this decision may i please request that you follow the counselors to my right which is your left let's honor them as they go celebrate them thank you very 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 much hallelujah please keep clapping until they go god bless you hallelujah thank you very much again let me we're stepping into deeper series of teachings that will build us the weeks that follow would be times of intense prayer times of learning at a higher level god is lifting us line upon line precept upon precept like i said yesterday may i please encourage you to number one ensure that um, you get these teachings as far as possible this is not some marketing of a man of god's ministry uh, the business that we're in is is greater and more serious than that we're talking about destinies and lives that sometimes may be at the mercy of one message for their transformation and then do remember that our corporate publicity is your our corporate publicity is your responsibility also being part of this family and this fold ensure that you do not just come to church alone but do well to come with someone 
and we keep doing our best to make sure that whether you sit outside any of the overflows inside or you connect online that you have the best of the koinonia experience and we trust that god is going to grant us grace in jesus name a quick announcement uh, to all of the workers please um, watch for the messages that will be sent to you from your heads of department um, for when we'll have the workers meeting workers retreat so please do well and then i hope that by next week um, we'll begin to announce when we'll be having the practicum for our school of ministry students many of you um, you have not experienced our school of ministry students and so we'll be having the practicum will give them room to just come and tell us what this was this would be about and the lord will bless you in jesus name one more time we honor pastor godwin he's left and then we honor uh, pastor mrs bimbo god bless you ma truly take our love and blessings to apostle good heart may the lord bless you and for every man and woman of god here may the lord bless you and lift you in jesus name i completely forgot to introduce a dear man of god who came with um, pastor sam Pastor Ishaya and his wife Laura, God bless you. Thank you so very much. All the way from Gombe. The Lord bless and honor you in Jesus' name. Please let's rise. Please do remember the case that I called. Maybe ushers will walk with them and then um, we'll just have a word with them. Please stand. Have you been blessed tonight? The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I forgot to add this. Please let me encourage you. Um, I know that we allowed for limited people yesterday, but let me encourage you, please go to Koinonia Global and listen to the birthday broadcast yesterday. It's a very important message that will be most edifying for your spirit man. Praise the name of the Lord. It's just about an hour, 30 minutes or max 50 minutes. Settle to listen to it and then the Lord will bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. Your week beginning, I decree and declare that you will carry the presence of God and you will come back with strange results. You are a victor. You remain a victor in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so very much and see you on Sunday. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share and subscribe. Thank you.